say, you know, still like protect your peace of mind, like, you know, because we live in a different world today than it was, I, I would say just five years ago. Um, it's crazy and it's getting crazier out here and it's getting scarier. And the reason why is, as you can see, like her, you know, people pass away suddenly, you know, and me personally, I'm dealing with a heart condition somewhat. And I sleep with a uh, sleep apnea machine. So I actually have these fears often. Um, but I'll say, you know, live every day as is, is your, if it's your own. And if you do have somebody pass away in your life that's really close to you, don't be sad about it. You know what I mean? We're going to miss them, but be appreciative. If you had 30, 40, 50 years with a sibling, you know, think about a person that only had their sibling for six months. Think about it. They only had their sibling for a year, two years, maybe five or seven years. You know, it's a blessing to be able to be with somebody for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. However much time the most high scenic fit that you had with them, somebody had it worse. You know, so count it all as love. Count it all as a blessing and be appreciative of that. Because at the end of the day, we're all on ball time. And I want to say also um, mystery. You know, T always said today's mystery. Today's mystery. You know, to me, it means something a little different. Because tomorrow is the mystery, you know, but I understand what he's saying, you know, but it's not a, really about that. I want everybody to understand that live for today. Yes, we plan for tomorrow, you know, retirement, savings, you know, bills, all of that. Take away the financial aspect of it. But what is tomorrow? We can't live for tomorrow. We only got today. That's it. So give it your all today. You know, if it's, you want to write that book, you want to start it, start it today. You want to start that podcast, you keep talking about it, start it today. You want to make amends with that relationship that you broke years ago and y'all had a falling out, do it today. You want to forgive somebody that something that happened to you when you was 19 years old, forgive them today. You know, you want to start saving for something, you got dreams and aspiration to doing something, start it today. Don't wait to tomorrow because tomorrow may never come. Tomorrow's mystery. You know what I'm saying? I want to counter that with T. Tomorrow's mystery. Because when we walk out that door for tomorrow, we don't know what tomorrow has in store for us. We don't know what to expect. We only got today, today, today. So make sure you're giving it up for today. Be faithful. You know what I mean? Be honorable. Make sure you give gratitude. Um, and be kind to people because this is an ugly world, and um, I'm uh, and I see just this in this. <laughs> whew, um, forgive me, but just I got people that's it just murder is all around us, and evil people's these spirits are just jumping at people, even people you love. You know, it's just this world is just not the same world it was five, ten, fifteen, twenty years ago. So protect your peace, protect your family. You know what I mean? Most importantly, protect your heart and the love that you have. You know, be faithful to the most high and just give it all to God because he's going to take care of you. And that's all I got, family. Um, once again, we want to um, do our dedicate our standing eight count to um, to Helen. Um, at the same time, still put your concerns Whatever you're going through, we still want to put them on the altar, the Sunday night wind down. But, you know, when we have one of our own going through something that's very traumatic. Um, um, hold on. Tulsa, amen. I just found a friend that I went to school with past, and she was just on live yesterday on vacation. Time is not prom promised. Wow. I mean, that just brings confirmation for what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Amen. Yeah, that's right. Like we all are really on ball time. So, you know, I think, I think, and I know the world we're living in, and I and I, I want to say that, yo, know, just be kind. Like, you know what I mean? Just be good to each other. You know what I'm saying? Hate can never conquer love. Like, you know, so let's love one another. You know, you don't have to tolerate nobody's BS, but at the end of the day, you know, maybe. Nobody taught them how to love. Maybe that's what's lacking out of their life. You know, let's love one another. That's the only way we can make the world a better place. And that don't mean you got to put up with their BS. 
And that's just what it is. So it got to be a balance, you know, and somebody got to lead the way. So I say, let it be us, you know, why not us? So, uh, you know, we love y'all on the Sunday night wind down. We want big happy family. So with that being said, um, we're going to do our standing eight count when we intercede for others. Uh, and we have a family member that's going.